Hi everybody. Uh, today in this session, we will check uh, on how to uh, do perform the aggregation using talent. So for doing the uh, aggregation, we, we would first need the input file. So I have created a job. Okay, and this is my input. So how this input file is created? We have already created the metadata for the employee salary. So I just use, reuse the same thing. So let me show you how the file looks. So as in the earlier session, we have checked, uh, uh, we have used this employee salary. So here we have employee ID, employee name, month and salary. So here you can see for employee one, I have two entries. So that is for January salary and for February salary. Similarly, for employee ID 2, I have two entries, one for January and one for February. So my requirement is, suppose I want to just identify what is the total salary for employee 1 and what is the total salary for employee 2. So what, what I would be doing here, I would be first checking for each employee what all are the total salary. Like here I have two salary, right? So I will be doing a sum of this two salary. And then I will be getting the output. Like for this, it is uh, for one uh, employee one, it will be 3000. And for employee two, it should be 7000. So my output should be one, 3000, total salary is 3000, and two, total salary is 7000. So this is my requirement. So let's see how I will be using that uh, talent and uh, performing this activity. So I have already used a input and then I have used T aggregate row. This is the component which I'll be using for aggregation. So we will be getting this T aggregate row in processing section in the palette. You can see T aggregate row. So what I'll do here, I'll go to this T aggregate row and component and click on this uh, edit schema. So here, this is my input column. And this one, I need to manually check what all are the output columns I'm expecting. So what I did here, employee ID is there. So I just dragged the same thing and uh, put it in the output. But in my output along with employee ID, you can also rename it to some other name also as per your requirement. But I used, I selected this and clicked on this arrow so that employee ID came here. Then. I created a new column. I clicked on this add and I created this total salary and the data type is integer. <laughs> because in the output, I want the employee ID and the total salary for each employee. So this is the uh, modification that you need to do in uh, uh, edit schema. After that, we will go to group by. So group by means like in SQL, we used to find the total number of salary, right? How, what should be our query? Like select sum of uh, salary from employee salary table, group by employee ID. So this depicts the group by clause, how you want to do the group by. So this says which is my input column on which I will be doing the grouping. That is, uh, so how I will be getting this? I can click on this. Uh, I can click on this plus button, and I can add a column. How many columns I want to add? I can add it here. So I have already added. So you can see what is my output column. How many output columns I have uh, in my uh, schema? It will show all of them. But what I want, I want to map this employee ID input uh, column employee ID to this output column employee ID. So I have used this group by uh, in employee ID. And, uh, and in the operation, I need to select which is my aggregated column. My total salary is the aggregated column. What is the function I will be using? Like there are uh, multiple functions here like count, minimum, maximum, average, sum, first, last, and so on. So as my requirement is to do the sum of salary, I will be selecting the sum of salary. And what is my input column? How, on which column I will be calculating the sum? It is on salary, right? So that's why I'll be using the salary. So the uh, configuration for this T aggregate row is done. 
then I'll map this T output uh, delimited the way we did for other uh, scenarios. Then let me run it. So you can see there are four rows in my input. My output become two rows. Let me go to the output. This is the file which got created at 1651. Let me open it. It's open. You can see like input for uh, employee ID of one, I have two records. One is thousand, one is uh, 2000. So my total salary is 3000. That's why I'm getting the total salary is 3000 here. And for employee ID two, I had uh, 3000 and 4000 in my input with sum of to 7000. So that's why I'm getting 7000 here. Okay, so now let's see some more uh, changes. Like uh, I can use some other components also. Like suppose I want to find the minimum salary or maximum salary, I can just change that uh, accordingly. Now, what is the use of this first and last? Uh, whenever I am reading the data, if I want, what is the first uh, salary? I What is the first salary for Samir? I want to fetch that, then I can use this first. Means whichever first record is pulled while leading for that group, that will be selected. And this last, if I there, you can see there is one more called last. So last means whichever record for that group is selected last, that will be pulled to the output. So let's see. Now let's use the last for this example and let's see how it behaves. Okay, my file is already open, that's why it failed. Let me run once again. Now you can see uh, out of four records, two records got transferred to the output. Let's open the file once again. I have used last. So for, uh, let's first go to the input file and see, as I have used last for employee ID one, which is my last record, that is 2000 is my last record. And for employee ID two, 3000 is my last record. So in my output, you can see for employee ID one, it is 2000, for employee ID two, it is 3000. So this is how we will be doing the aggregation in talent. I hope this session is uh, uh, helpful for you. If you think the session is helpful and it is fruitful for you, then please like and subscribe, subscribe my channel and share the video for others. Thanks everybody.